Hare Krishna. We continue reading from Chaitanya Charita Amrita. Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Advaita Chandra Jaya Gaurabhata Vrinda Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Advaita Chandra Jaya Gaurabhata Vrinda Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Advaita Chandra Jaya Gaurabhata Vrinda we are reading from Adi Leela, chapter 6, where we are gonna we have been hearing the glories of Advaita Acharya, text 77. Tenho apana ke karena das bhavana, Krishna das bhava vinu ache kona jana. Translation by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Samishla Prabhupada. He also considers himself a servant of Lord Krishna. Indeed, who is there who does not have this conception of being a servant of Lord Krishna? So we were hearing yesterday that Balaramji, Balaramji is the first expansion of Krishna. He's the cause of this entire material creation, you know, because Mahavishnu is an expansion of him, an expansion of an expansion of him. And then the entire spiritual world is sustained on his energy. And yet, what is his mood? His mood is, I'm a servant of Krishna. I'm a servant of Krishna. And he's saying, who does not have this concept? Everyone has this. So each and every living entity is Krishna conscious. It's only when we start thinking, oh, why Krishna? Why should everyone be a servant of Krishna? That we are put in this material world. And that is material life. Spiritual life is uh, being in our original constitutional position. But then we may say, oh, but I'm the soul. I'm so great. Why should I be a servant of God? But imagine being a servant of God. Here we are being servants of everyone except God. We are being servant of our mind, our anger, our senses, our family, society, country. You know, how many, how many people? And here, our, actually, our original position is just serve Krishna. That's the dharma of the soul. And because we are going against our dharma, we are in this material world. That's the only thing. We have to understand, recognize our dharma and uh, engage in Krishna consciousness. That's our true dharma. Sahasravadhani. When we say dharma, it doesn't mean faith. Dharma doesn't mean faith. Dharma means the eternal occupation, something you cannot take away from the living entity, something that you cannot take away from something, like the dharma of so, uh, sugar is sweet, can't take away sweetness from sugar, can't take away saltiness from salt. Similarly, cannot take away service, activity, cannot take away this activity from the soul. So, Sahasravadana yenho shesha sankarshana dasha deha dhari kare krishnera sevana. He who is Shesh Sankarshan with his thousands of mouths serves Sri Krishna by assuming 10 forms. So Sh Shankarshan, he takes on 10 forms because he wants to serve Krishna. So he's expanding to serve Krishna more and more. Ananta Brahmandi Rudra Sadashivera Amsha Gunavatara Tenho Sarva Deva Avatamsha. Rudra, who is an expansion of Sadashiv, and who appears in unlimited universes is also a guna avatar, qualitative incarnation, and is the ornament of all the demigods in the endless universes. There are 11 expansions of Rudra or Lord Shiva. So we had heard in Bhagavatam, Rudra has 11 expansions. They are as follows. Ajay Kapad, Abhi, Ahi, Bratna, Virupaksha Revata Hara Bahurupa Deva Shreshta Triambaka Savitra Jayanta Pinaki and Aparajita. Besides these expansions, there are eight forms of Rudra called earth, water, fire, air, sky, the sun, the moon, and Somayaji. Generally, all these Rudras have five faces, three eyes, and 10 arms. Sometimes it is found that Rudra is compared to Brahma and considered a living entity. But when Rudra is explained to be, an ex uh, uh, to be a partial expansion of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, he is compared to Shesha. 
Lord Shiva is therefore simultaneously an expansion of Lord Vishnu and in his capacity for annihilating the creation, one of the living entities. As an expansion of Lord Vishnu, he is called Hara and he is transcendental to the material qualities. But when he is in touch with Tamagun, he appears contaminated by the material modes of nature. So Rudra, Lord Shiva, Lord Shiva, he has 11 expansions. We just heard the names huh, of these expansions. Now Rudra is generally said to have five faces, three eyes and 10 arms. Now we have to understand the special position of Lord Shiva. Like, uh, like Brahmaji, Brahmaji, he is, an, he is a living entity. He is a living entity, he is a post. Brahmaji is the creator of the universe and it's a post that's occupied by him. So any living entity who becomes qualified and then Krishna can appoint him to become Brahma. Krishna can appoint. And in the case where there is really no living entity in the universe which is qualified to take the position of Brahma, Krishna will <clears throat> incarnate himself as Brahma. But what's the position of Lord Shiva? Lord Shiva is not an ordinary living entity. So he's not an ordinary living entity and he's not Vishnu Tattva either. Then who is he? He's a Tattva by himself. He's Shiva Tattva. He's an expansion by, of Lord Vishnu. In his expansion of Lord Vishnu, he's called Hara. Hara. Lord Vishnu is Hari and Lord Shiva is called Hara. Uh, so, Lord Shiva is not an ordinary living entity like we. We are ordinary living entity. But Lord Shiva is not also Vishnu Tattva. He has his own Tattva, which is called Shiva Tattva. Shiva Tattva. And um, he's also one of the Guna avatars, of course, to annihilate the universe. So, he is the controller of the mode of ignorance. But he is not overcome by this mode of ignorance. No. He's not affected by the mode of ignorance. We, we are affected by mode of passion and ignorance. But Lord Shiva, no. He's a controller. If he was affected by the mode of ignorance, how would he be able to control it? When you're controlling something, means you're the master of it. Not that that thing can control you. So we can read further. This is explained in Srimad Bhagavatam and the Brahma Samhita. In Srimad Bhagavatam 10th Canto, it is stated that Lord Rudra is always associated with the material nature when she is in the neutral, unmanifested stage. But when the modes of material nature are agitated, he associates with material nature from a distance. In the Brahma Samhita, the relationship between Vishnu and Lord Shiva is compared to that between milk and yogurt. Milk is converted into yogurt by certain additives, but although milk and yogurt have the same ingredients, they have different functions. Similarly, Lord Shiva is an expansion of Lord Vishnu, yet because of his taking part in the annihilation of the cosmic manifestation, he is considered to be changed like milk converted into yogurt. So Lord, everything comes from Krishna. There is nothing or no one that does not come from Krishna. Similarly, Lord Shiva also comes from Krishna. But we have to understand that we are also coming from Krishna, but we are marginal energy of Krishna. We are marginal energy. We are uh, his parts and parcels, separated expansions. We are not his personal expansions. We are not Vishnu Tattva. We are separated, Vibhinamsha. That's the living entities, separated expansions. Now, Lord Shiva, is his position is, he is an expansion of Lord Vishnu, but he is not Vishnu Tattva. So the, the, uh, the analogy is given to us that how yogurt, yogurt comes from milk. We take milk, we put something in it, and then it turns into yogurt. So milk can be changed into yogurt. Now, this say, now I have yogurt. Can I change this yogurt into milk? Anyone? No, we can't. 
we can't change yogurt back into milk. It's become yogurt already. And that is the position of Lord Shiva. That is the Shiva Tattva. Although he is an expansion of Lord Vishnu, he is not Vishnu Tattva. Mm -hmm. He has his own function. His function is to annihilate this entire material creation. And also because uh, Krishna does not personally associate with the material nature. That is Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva is the husband of uh, Parvati, of material energy. So Krishna does not personally associate with material nature. Then, but in the form of Lord Shiva, in the Lord of form, uh, in the form of Lord Shiva, it is his, uh, by his touch, that this entire material creation is happening. So in the Puranas, it is found that Shiva appears sometimes from the heads of Brahma and sometimes from the head of Vishnu. The annihilator Rudra is born from Sankarshan and the ultimate fire to burn the whole creation. So Rudra, where is he born from? Some inside this material. So Sadashiv, Sadashiv, the Sadashiv, he has his own planet in the spiritual world, which never annihilates. And the really pure devotees of Lord Shiva go to that Sadashiv planet. Not the materialistic devotees who are always asking Lord Shiva for uh, some material boon or the other, but the really pure devotees of Lord Shiva. So Rudra, he is an expansion of Sadashiv. And inside this material world, his role, his duty is to annihilate, annihilate this material world. So he is born from Sankarshan. So in the Vayu Puran, there is a description of Sadashiv in one of the Vaikuntha planets. That Sadashiv is, in, is a direct expansion of Lord Krishna's form for pastimes. It is said that Sadashiv, Lord Shambhu, is an expansion from the Sadashiv in the Vaikuntha planets, Lord Vishnu, and that is consort. Mahamaya is an expansion of Rama Devi or Lakshmi. Mahamaya is the origin or birthplace of material nature. So we can see that the Rudra or Lord Shiva here in this material world and um, Parvati Devi in the material world, they are expansions of Sadashiv and Mahamaya in the spiritual world. And this Sadashiv, he is a direct expansion of Lord Krishna. He's a direct expansion of Lord Krishna's form for pastimes. And uh, Mahamaya, Mahamaya, material nature, Mahamaya, she is Lord Shiva's consort and she is an expansion of Lakshmi Devi, Rama Devi. So we can see that how Krishna very perfectly has organized everything, very perfectly. So Lord Shiva, he is the, the Sadashiv, the Lord Shiva, he is a Shiva Tattva. He is not an ordinary living entity. Not an ordinary living entity. He is Shiva Tattva. And then his Sadashiv, his expansion is here in the material world, as we call him Lord, Lord Shiva. Rudra, that he's going to annihilate this material universe. So in like that, in all the universes, this Lord Shiva is there. And all these expansions of Lord Shiva are coming from Sadashiv, who's there in the Vaikuntha world. And this Sadashiv, he is an expansion of Krishna, of Lord Vishnu. So this is the position of Lord Shiva. Mm. Are there any questions or comments? If no, then we'll stop here for today. Shri Chaitanya Charitamrita ki jai, Shri Prabhupada ki jai, Gaur Bhaktavinda ki jai, Hare Krishna.